Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today, we're going back on the hunt for more of the completed Pokedex. As much progress as I can make in today's episode, you know, the more the better. So uh, yeah, what we might wanna do is sort of start focusing on the Pokedex recommendations. Right now it's recommending Butterfree. I could go all the way to the Slumbering Wield and run around for 20 minutes until it finally shows up. And that's where it sort of becomes a problem is like, I could spend a lot of time just looking for one Pokemon. And I don't know if I exactly wanna do that, but for Butterfree, a very specific thing we can do is that, you know, Caterpie evolves into Metapod, and then Metapod evolves into Butterfree. So if we have at least Caterpie or Metapod, we can go ahead and actually end up getting Butterfree. What do you know? So that's what we sort of need to take a look at right now. We are, um, I don't know exactly where we are in this town. I, I sort of am not very familiar with it. Oh yeah, you know, I know exactly where we are. So we probably want to leave here and just fly somewhere a little bit more useful. Just down this way, I think they'll be... Well, actually, maybe not there. Uh, yeah, let's go down this way. I'm trying to find a shop where we can access all of our Pokemon, and we'll probably just replace a member of our team with somebody, one of the Pokemon there, um, that we need to actually evolve into Butterfree. I thought that's the best way to get it done. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at our Pokedex, or our Pokebox here. We also need to then, um, yeah, if we check our Pokejobs, we wanna go ahead and get all those guys out for right now. Um, that way we can have as many Pokemon at our disposal as possible, because I'm not really sure what of which we have, because I'm pretty sure we have either a Butterfree or a Metapod. I'd be very surprised if we don't. I don't think that'd be that difficult to get if we do not have them. Um, so hopefully we can do that. But yeah, a lot of these Pokemon are pretty high leveled as it is because of the fact that they've been doing these jobs. They get tons of experience. Um, we just need to play with them so that they evolve. So there's that one done. Had 30,000 experience for each of them. That was all electric. This one is all normal type. I remember this. Yeah. See, so yeah, it'll be cool to evolve some new Pokemon in today's episode. Good job. Your Pokemon came back from the job and they did exceptionally. 61,000 experience for all these different Pokemon. Wow. Um, oh, Minchino has um, $12,000. That's a major money he was carrying. And. Oh yeah, these are all the water types. Okie doke. So with this one, we had a good group of them. Great job. And they get 56,000, that's so much experience, it's crazy. Gastrodon has something to give us. Two quick balls, thank you, my favorite. So we won't be doing any of this yet. Maybe by the end of today's episode, we'll organize more Pokemon into jobs. But yeah, now that we've done that, we can take a look at our Pokemon. Um, well, this is our team. How do we see our... I, I, don't, I don't know why I'm forgetting. Uh, can it be accessed here? Check boxes, here we go. Um, see, I don't know how this is organized at the moment. Here, sort Pokemon. It's weird, because it says hold, like it says X, sort Pokemon. But that doesn't actually give me the option to sort anything. Chain view, change selection mode. Yeah, sort Pokemon, that's what I want, but I don't know, like that doesn't seem very well described. I am so confused. <laughs> so I guess there's no way to automatically sort Pokemon, which to me is insane because there's hundreds of them and there's no button just to sort them by type or to sort them by name. It's just this big mess that I'm supposed to organize myself. I don't get who thought of that idea. That just doesn't seem right to me. But um, as far as I can understand, I looked and looked and I could not find any straight answer with this. So maybe you guys know, you can let me know about organizing Pokemon. Is it something you have to do one by one? Um, anyways, uh, either way, we're just looking through a box for either Butterfree or Metapod. Not a Butterfree. <laughs> Obviously, if we're looking for a Butterfree, we wouldn't need to evolve anything. Um, Caterpie or Metapod. And I don't know where they would be. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure, okay, here's a Metapod who is level 60. He's level 60. So what we could do is we could put him over somebody, probably Smokey, and just have him along for the ride. And keeping that in mind, I wonder what other Pokemon we might wanna put on our team that we might need to evolve. That would be so much easier to answer if this stuff was organized by type, but I could also go to my Pokedex and take a look. I don't wanna put too many Pokemon in because I also need to level up my current team. On top of that, I don't know which Pokemon I might need, you know? So maybe we should just keep it one at a time. Maybe that's the easiest way to do it. Um, but for right now, while we do that, we're gonna go out to the wild area and just sort of explore and have a good time with that. I figured that's my strategy. Is it the most productive ever? Probably not, but it's sort of just what I've came up with. Um, and hopefully just over time, we can catch more and more Pokemon. 
Um, for right now, though, let's go over this way. Whoa, 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 hey there, big guy. I have definitely not caught you. This is a Kaparaja, so cool. I love it. This is actually a new Pokemon for Sword and Shield, right? I'm pretty sure. Maybe not, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we definitely don't have you, so we're immediately going to try to throw out a Quick Ball and hope it works. Please work. Oh boy. But yeah, um, since we've last played, we've uh, had a new Pokemon game launch. Pokemon, yes, there it is! Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. I've been playing that and you guys have been loving it, so more episodes of that are coming soon. But also, we just got a Kaparaja. Very exciting. I don't even know if we have the thing that Kaparaja evolves into. I mean, or that evolves from. Um, very cool, though. Number 303, Kaparaja. Copperderm Pokemon, Steel type. Nine foot, 10 inches and 1,400 pounds. This is the second one I've ever battled. These Pokemon live in herds, just like me. Uh, their trunks have incredible grip strength, strong enough to crush giant rocks into powder. Wow, very cool Pokemon. I was very, very happy to have that. Another steel type for our collection. A big one for sure. Wow, that was a great start then. Happy about that. Over this way, try a tiny bit of energy trickling out of the den, 200 watts. And what do we got going on around here? So we're just looking for more Pokemon to take on. I don't know which one of these we have gotten, which ones we haven't, because sometimes it can be hard to remember. I'm pretty sure we have these, but there was some Pseudo-Udo in the background. Not really sure about them. So let's see Maractus here. Do we have a Maractus? Yes, we do. Is any of our moves very effective? No, so maybe it's time to run. I don't want to do anything too much more than we have to, but I just want to stay productive. Keep working on it, and we'll see. Uh, over this way. Yep, berry tree. And we get a, a kelpsy berry. I'm gonna keep shaking it three times, as per usual. One more time. Ah, oh, we got in trouble. Usually we don't get attacked. Oh, but it's a little chair, Cherubi. I don't think we have this. Uh, but usually we don't get attacked on the third shake. Let's see, do we have a Cherubi? We do, but we're still just gonna fight you. Uh, we'll just do play rough, because we have an 18 level advantage. You think this would be Good enough. And it is. Not enough to take you out, but Petal Blizzard, oh boy. Eh, that didn't do too much. So let's fight again. Use Play Rough, because we could use like a rare candy on the Metapod, and that would probably evolve it, but I don't think that's really worth it. I thought that would be a risk, or not a risk, but a waste of rare candies. But yeah, it'll just take some time, but I feel like this is the best way to do it, really. Um, and, we picked up the berries. So we got one Kelpsy, one Citrus. That's something. So Pseudo Wudo, do we have one of you? That's the question right now. <laughs> I love Pseudo Wudo. He's so goofy looking. We'll find out. Yep, we do. So we'll skedaddle. But I do see some more dens. If we can take on some uh, Gigantamax raids in today's episode, that'll also be awesome. I don't really see too many right now. Wow, oh, you're new. Well, actually, I think I've gotten a pre-evolution of you. We'll find out. Because he has like some extra gears to him. The Kling Clang. Do we have Kling Clang? We're about to find out. We don't, so let's go for this. Uh, immediately throw out the Quick Ball, as we normally do. Thank you, thank you. If we could catch the Kaparaja, I would hope it would catch you, but it doesn't. Yikes. Ooh, that's not good. They're using lock on. Whoa, whoa, that's a problem. Be careful, Jazzy. So this is effective. It's not super effective, but it's effective enough that hopefully if we do this, yep, it'll, it should par paralyze you. So we need to keep up with that. Shift gear, whoa. Oh my. Speed rose sharply and attack. So we should be able to do just a normal spark. I don't think that's gonna take you out. I sure hope not. Oh no. Oh, okay, that's good, that's good. They're using lock on again. So they haven't actually used any kind of offensive move just yet. They've just been using stat based stuff. Fight, not a quick ball, but instead we could do a great ball and that should be good enough. With their low health and being paralyzed, I think this will be fine. And the wiggle, come on now. That has to be it. Boom. One more for the Pokedex. Yeah, we're just going to try to grow our Pokedex as much as possible in today's episode. And that is gonna be level 73 for Tom. 
So there we go, Kling Clang Seda will be added to the Pokedex. It is a gear Pokemon seal type again. The three gears that compose this Pokemon spin at high speeds. Its new spiked gear isn't a living creature. <laughs> All right, um, the other two are, which is the weird part. So send you to a box. And we're just gonna keep moving. So we don't need Maractus. Oh, Machop, right? Or the evolution of Machop, Machoke? Yeah, because Machop, Machoke, Machamp, I think are the three. I don't think we have this guy. I might be wrong. Oh, I am wrong. <laughs> well, it's not the first time. Anyways, there's so many Pokemon, it could be hard to memorize which ones I do have and which ones I don't. And that's where it just becomes you know, sort of trial and error. We just gotta keep going. But that's why I try to spend as much time as I can in today's, or these episodes, um, because of that. You just never know who's gonna pop up, how much time it's gonna take. Oh, there's some Wobbuffet. Ah, oh, man, I'm a little 50-50 on whether or not we've gotten Wobbuffet, so might as well try to get one right now. <laughs> I love how he has little eyes on this tail as well. So. Yep, we got a Wobbuffet. That's a good thing, though. Well, actually, are you weak to us? No, you're not. You're not a water type. I always think you are. You are a psychic type, right? Yep, it's so weird. Anyways. Prevent escape? Really? All right, then, if you want that, you asked for it. We're doing wild charge. Boom. Will that be a one-hit takedown? Actually, won't be. Wow, lots of re more recoil damage than I was expecting. They're doing counter. Oh, no. Really? You're kidding. Wow. Use our next Pokemon. Um, yeah, might as well be Biggie. I think Biggie might be good against Psychic anyways. Can't believe that. <laughs> that is not good. So there we go, just use Night Slash. That should finish him off. Thank you very much. Jeez, poor Jazzy, I feel like he faints often. <laughs> so there's that at the least. He's close to a level up too, so that definitely is a shame. So let's, let's uh back it up maybe. There we go, and Use our bag. We should have some revives waiting for us, I would hope. Uh, revive, yeah, we have eight of them. So there we go, Jazzy. Uh, use a super potion. Yeah, he's the only one who's taking damage right now. Gotcha. And. Oh, here's another berry tree. So we'll make the most of this. I yeah, just gotta keep exploring around now. But yeah, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon has been a ton of fun. It's a lot different than your average Pokemon game, so if you're looking for some more different Pokemon experiences, definitely go check it out. Shake it one more time. Okay, six berries on the ground is more than enough, so I'll gladly take those. And we should go camping today. That'd be great. Oh my gosh, they all pop up at once. Oh, don't wanna deal with that if I don't have to. Ooh. I don't think I have you. You're the sword and shield Pokemon. What do you know? Actually, you're just swords. Du Dublade. Which is weird, because I don't think you're new to this game, are you? I mean, maybe you are. I, I can't remember. I want to know. But we don't have you, so we're immediately going to throw out a quick ball. And hope for the best. If not, we'll work on you the old-fashioned way. I think this is another steel type. Uh, I would imagine, right? They're two swords. <laughs> there we go. Quick ball was successful. And that's a level up for Jazzy. We're halfway there with Metapod as well. Very exciting. So are you a steel type? You're a steel ghost. Sword Pokemon. The two swords employ a strategy of rapidly alternating between offense and defense to bring down their prey. Wow. I mean, why do they even have prey? Are they, did they eat? Where are their mouths? Do I really wanna know? I don't think I do. What was that noise? There's something in the grass. Oh, it's another uh, Galarian Zigzagoon. We already have one, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, we definitely have all these little guys, I think. Actually, I don't know if we have the tiny ice cream cones. We have different parts of the ice cream cone, but I don't know if we have the tiniest one. So let's find out. Vanillaite. It should be quite easy to catch you, and if not, we'll just keep going, because there's plenty around. I'm, okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure we have it, who knows, but we do. So with that being said, plenty of other little dens to check out as well. But I wanna go to sort of the more, what is that? Oh, that is, is that a Toodle? 
I can't tell. You know, let's just go for it, because I can't tell. I don't want to miss out. Yeah, okay, it was just a Choodle. Didn't know if it was a Choodle. Could have been. It sort of looked like a Wooper. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that wasn't the case. Well, we have called it Wooper, haven't we? I can't remember. Um, let's run. But there is like a little desert area that I really have not explored too much in the wild area. So that's definitely an opportunity I wanted to take. But most of the grass Pokemon I've caught, I'm looking for the ones that sort of show up outside of the grass. Because I know one time Gengar showed up around here and I don't know if we were able to catch him or not. Um, whoa, you just charged at me, Sneasel. It looks super smug about it too. Well, let's find out if I have you. Yeah, I do. Not really too surprised by that one. Got away safely. So, okay, no, 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 no. Well, that's a Lanoon, actually. I don't know if I have Lanoon. Let's try and find out. <laughs> They're having a lot of fun. Lanoon, of course, is uh, the evolution of Zigzagoon. We've seen Lanoon before, but have we caught one? Or evolved one? We did not, so let's go ahead and get this. Hope it works out right away. Come on. Ah, oh, darn, almost had it too. So they're gonna use Scary Face. So let's do an actual battle here. Yeah, as he speed harshly fell. Oh, we are taking damage from the, the hail, which is very fitting. It's actually snowing outside right now, which is weird because it's at the end of March now. Why is it still snowing? Who knows? Especially since it's been a very, very warm winter. It was like 65 degrees two weeks ago. And now, now it's uh, in Fahrenheit, by the way. Uh, now it's... Uh, now it's snowing. This is some very wild weather. It's not war it's not cold enough for any of it to stick to the floor though, but it's been snowing all morning. Anyways, we'll go ahead and hit you with um, a normal spark. I don't think it'll take you out. I sure hope it doesn't. Oh no. Oh, that's the worst when that happens, because it was a critical when I really didn't need a critical. You're overdoing it there, Jazzy. But that's okay. I still appreciate your hard effort. Uh getting closer with the level up with Metapod. So it's great that we're going to be evolving a Pokemon while we're also actively catching others. Ooh, the little moon things. I think I've gotten those. But we'll check it out in a moment. Right now, Minchino. So cute. Do I have you, buddy? I really don't know. I do. Do we have anything that's super effective against you? We don't, so we're just running. I'm out of here. If we can get to maybe the water where we're super effective against stuff with Jazzy, I might want to take that opportunity. Lunatone. Maybe we don't have you. Maybe I call you and like, let's go Pikachu and I'm thinking of that. I don't really know. No, I have you. Never mind. There's just so many different Pokemon the catch. It's impossible for me to keep it straight in my head. Okay, that was silly. <laughs> Come on. Let me out of here. Maybe I should see if I, I'm super effective against it. Because if I am, we might as well take the opportunity. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just land a spark on you. Maybe this time we can get a critical. Ooh. Explosion? Really? Please don't take out Jazzy. Please don't. Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. Well, there goes the rest of Lunatune's health. That's one way to do it. <laughs> and as you can see, oh, ever so closer with Metapod. Because yeah, that is all filled up. Or not filled up, but used up. The uh, little thing. Because it'll shine red and then you go over to it and it's not shining anymore, which is so cruel. Oh, hey. So what'd you like to do? Spend my watts, throw a Tom Rally, a makeover, improve my bike. Can we really improve our bike? We have 15,000 watts. 3,000, oh, that's nothing. There we go. All right, your bike has extra power. Since your turbo boost charges faster now, why not have another go Rotom Rally? No, thank you. I can improve my bike again, or I can spend more of my watts some, doing something else. We got like a wishing piece. I have one of these right now. There's different moves I can use as well. Luxury ball, particularly comfortable ball that makes a wild Pokemon quickly grow friendlier after being caught. I don't think I need that. Well, thank you for the offer. So I guess our thing restores faster now. I definitely have the ladybug. Oh, I see a Pokeball over there. Let's try to grab that without being caught. A Dawnstone. Guess we have one of those. Oh, watch it. And, oh, what's on the floor? There's a couple of things on the floor. Whoa, there's a Gyarados. We got a Pungent Root and a Pungent Root. So, let's get back 
out into the water. I might as well take him on, because it's fun to take on a Pokemon like Gyarados, right? Uh, so, yeah. Oh wow, why is it so sandy? Sandstorm is raging over the water of all places. Sort of seems weird. Interested in something else. I don't know what he said. So we'll just do Spark and see if we can't take you down right away. Because we have like a 19 level lead on you. Because none of the Pokemon get higher than level 60 for some reason. So there goes Gyarados, he's fainted. And, oh, that was a good chunk more experience. And that's where it's like we can definitely sort of utilize this. I don't think I want to worry about the ice, but man. Yeah, there's quite the storm around here. Whoa, Sea King. I don't know if I have you. We're gonna find out, Wild Sea King. The sandstorm rages on. We do have you, so we're just gonna take you out with a super effective spark. Come on now, boom. There we go. And I did see that, what was it, Mantine? Because it looks like, like a Manta, right? Oh, we're so close with the Metapod, just one more, and we got it. And then we can switch some stuff out. So is that Mantine still around? Not looking like it. And the water's like golden yellow. Oh, there you are. I can't quite keep up with you at the moment. They're so quick. Oh, there we go. So do we have this, Mantine? Maybe? Yeah, we do. How many Pokemon have we caught? Because I think it only said like 180, right? It feels like we've caught so many more than that because the majority of the Pokemon we run into, we have. And I know there's at least like, what, like three or 400 in this game? And there we go, get a level up for both Shawnee and Metapod. Let's see if that gets you what you need. Yes, here we go. So? What? Metapod is evolving! Ooh. Ba, 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 ba. We get Butterfree! Hooray! Congratulations, your Metapod evolved into Butterfree. So, as you can see, Butterfree's data will be added to the Pokedex. Um, it is a butterfly Pokemon, bug flying type. 70 pounds! Wow, that's a heavy butterfly. It collects honey every day. It rubs honey onto the hairs of its legs to carry it back to its nest. Pokedex updated, excellent. So there we go. Great job filling your Pokedex. Thank you. Uh, there are still a lot of Pokemon you haven't caught. Let's catch more Pokemon. So now our goal is Quillfish, Excadrill, Barrascuda, and then whatever that last one was. Uh, Butterfree learned Gust. Sweet. Um, so with that being done, if we take a look at our Pokedex, what was that last one? It was Lantern. And all four of those are actually somewhere in the area right now. So, yeah, I guess we'll start looking for some of these guys. I don't know what's with that little symbol next to the number. Maybe he's underground or something? But I guess it can be found in this river. Well, we'll keep looking for him. But in the meantime, there's gotta be more Pokemon we can evolve. So that's where I wanna check out my Pokedex again. Um, check out my Pokedex and see which Pokemon. Let's start from the, all the way from the beginning, if I can. Uh, there we go. Which Pokemon that I do I have that I can evolve right now? So we have Orbeetle. I don't think it'll be Orbeetle. We don't have Caterpie? No way. We don't actually have Caterpie. We do have Grubbin, and Grubbin can definitely evolve into something. So that's where I gotta keep looking and think like, okay, well maybe we can figure something out. To do that, I'm going to have to go back uh, to a thing, I think. Unless I'm wrong. Can I switch things out from here? Swap Pokemon. Yeah, I can't do that from here. So I'm going to have to go back to the, the store. That'll be a great place, or a great time to also heal everybody up. So I'll definitely take the opportunity. But if I do see anything new pop up as we're riding by, I don't. Okay then. So let's keep moving, because we're, we're right over here. So yeah, I'm already happy with the progress then. That's for sure, whoa. Whoa, no, okay, that's uh, evolution of a uh, Rookity, don't need that. All we gotta do is go up this way, <laughs> ride our bike up the stairs. Not advised, but he does it anyway. Yeah, lots of fun so far, for sure. Go into here, because we've already caught, like what, four Pokemon? That's a pretty good amount. We'll heal everybody up, and then we'll get that little, what was it, Blipbug was his name? We'll get him in our team, that should be great. So what I'm deciding to do is I'm going to move all but two of my Pokemon 
um, into a box uh, so that we can have more room. I chose four Pokemon that I can keep leveling up and eventually evolve, but uh, for right now, this is my main. And apparently, if whatever box you're last in is where the next Pokemon you catch will go, so we just don't want to be on that. So the four Pokemon I'm going to put on my team are Grubbin, P Pidove, Zigzagoon, and Wooloo. Those are four Pokemon right now that I can get and evolve if I just level them up enough. So there's a Wooloo, level 41. So as soon as we get Wooloo a level up, that'll just be it. Um, Zigzagoon. Oh yeah, we got a little Z. We might as well do a little Z now, shouldn't we? Oh, maybe we should do Charmander as well. We got Charmander. Maybe I'll do that later though, because I already have some stuff on my mind. I already wrote these down, so might as well dedicate it ourselves to it. Um, along with it, let's see. Uh, so that was Zigzagoon, Wooloo. We need Padove. I don't know. Oh yeah, here's Padove. Luckily, they're all sort of near each other. And then we need the Grubbin, and the Grubbin's right here. Well, this is a very low-level Grubbin. I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. Let's go ahead and just put it in the uh, the team. And we'll just keep leveling everything up <laughs> until it gets to where it needs to be. For Grubbin, though, um, I think that it will be not that difficult to get because Grubbin yeah, evolves at level 20, but then after that needs a Thunderstone. So I think we have a Thunderstone. I don't know how that works. So I've never really used a stone to evolve a Pokemon before. At least not from what I remember. So I don't know if I just give it to them and then they level them up again, maybe? I'll have to wait and see. For right now, though, we got plenty to do and we'll go back to the river area so that we can explore more of that. But yeah, this is a great way to just get a bunch of Pokemon, isn't it? A lot of fun. And if we have the extra time and energy, like I said, I wouldn't mind going for some... Do we have these guys? I think we do, yeah. Um, going for some Dynamax battles could be fun. See, so yeah, it's still this <laughs> Dreadnought that pops up. Don't really need him too much. Lake of Outrage. Yeah, it feels outrageous with all this sandstorming. So let's get that extra energy. But yeah, some of this stuff is just not popping up super often, but it's not the end of the world if it doesn't, you know, because we can just take out Pokemon. That guy jumped right into me. And like I said, we'll just earn up a bunch of experience this way. So no matter what, we're sort of turning out okay. So this is the pre-evolution to the Mantine. What was it called? Um, Mantike, which we also have. So we'll just use Spark against you real fast, take you down, and be good to move to the next thing. And that is definitely going to be a couple of level ups for the, the Grubbin, right? It has to be. Yep, level 12, 10 level jump. That's crazy. All right, Grubbin learned String Shot and Bug Bite. Awesome, good for you. What was that, level 24 we need for Grubbin? So we'll get there. No, actually not even level 20. So like next to nothing, really. So here's Gyarados. Gyarados, we should be able to take out, no problem. Sandstorm is raging. Our attack fell. So let's fight. Super effective spark. Got it. So with that, as you can see, that should be level 17. We also got a level up for Biggie, Little Z, and Pidove. So that might be two evolutions, I would hope. And Peter of Grid level 46, grabbing the 17. Uh, just keep rolling moves. It doesn't really matter. I don't think he needs to learn bite. I don't know if we'll ever use this Pokemon, but here we go! Zigzagoon is evolving. What? Little Z's evolving. Look at you go. So the thing is, this will evolve into Galarian Lanoon. But if we want to find the evolution of Lanoon, what we have to do is we have to get him another level up, but at nighttime. So I won't be able to do that right now because it's 1 p.m. But this is Lanoon, rushing Pokemon, dark normal type, Galarian form. This very aggressive Pokemon will recklessly challenge opponents stronger than itself. We sort of realized that earlier <laughs> when we, we battled one. Night Slash. Um, keep all moves. Like I said, we're not really too invested in the actual moves for right now. Just trying to get the Pokedex. And here's Padova with a little heart on her chest. Let's see what you turn into. Whoa! Oh, I love it! It looks like it has long hair. Tranquil. Oh, that's so nice. So, we'll keep you on our team because of the fact that you're a wild pigeon Pokemon. Um, normal flying. These bright Pokemon have acute memories. Apparently, delivery workers often choose them as their partners. Isn't that great? But that evolves into another Pokemon at level 32. So, if we level you up one more time, we should be good. And there's a little fishing spot here. Did we just scare it off? Oh, darn. That's, that's a shame. Oh, here we go! I need you. 
Yeah, you. Yeah. You. Okay, wait. Ah, uh, got it. This is good. Barrascuta. Exactly what we're looking for. So this will be one more off the Pokedex if we can. Can't believe we haven't caught you because we've like ran into a number of times. Hopefully the immediate quick ball is all I need. Oh, the wiggle! That's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. Barrascoon is finally ours. And that's level 20 for Grubbin. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, here we go. So Grubbin is evolving. Bum, 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 ba, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> He's just a little cube. Well, more like a rectangle. But uh, Grubbin evolved into a charger bug. So, battery Pokemon bug electric type, 23 pounds. It's just, a, like I said, it's just a box. Its digestive process converts the leaves it eats into electricity. An electric sack in its belly stores the electricity for later use. So we need to give you a Thunderstone soon. I love the idea of a bug electric type though. Um, keep old moves. And we'll also get the Pokedex information for Barrascuta. It is a skewer Pokemon water type. It spins its tail fins to propel itself, surging forward at speeds of over 100 knots before ramming prey and spearing into them. Wow, Pokedex updated, that's one more off the list. Um, no nickname. And send it to a box. Very, very exciting. So before we do too much more, I wanna get off the water and get to our bag. Now we should have a place for stones. I don't exactly know where that'd be. Okay, sorted by type. Would that be in here? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Well, actually, no. Dawnstone, Ice Stone, Shiny Stone, Thunderstone. Use this with the Charger Bug. Oh wow, and it just immediately works. I thought we had to give it to them and they had to level up again. Charger Bug is evolving! Sorry, Charger Bug, you weren't Charger Bug for very long, but that means Grubbin, we had a Grubbin, now we have this very scary Vikavolt. Wow, I, would, I do not want to mess with that thing. <laughs> it scares me. Um, Vikavolt data will be added to the Pokedex. If it carries a Charger Bug to use as a spare battery, a flying Vikavolt can rapidly fire high-powered beams of electricity. That's very interesting, but also it feels like it's <laughs> poor Charger Bug. Just gets used that way. Um, you know what, Thunderbolt sounds like a good move, so we might as well get that on the on this Vika Vault, even if I don't really know if I'll use it, uh, instead of Vice Grip, yeah, sure. All right, well, very interesting Pokemon for sure, and I'm glad that that's just like another thing we can knock off the to-do list. Um, we are still working in the Wooloo Evolving, and we've done what we can for the Zigzagoon, and we're, okay, so, yeah, things are going pretty well. It's not worth it to go and change these guys out just yet, but we will be heading back soon. Um, one more level up for the the Trank. Whoa, have we got these guys before? I can't remember. Let's find out. Are these another Steel type? <laughs> or is getting so many Steel types? It's Go Lurk. I think we have the pre-evolution to you. Let's find out. We don't have Go Lurk, so we're immediately just gonna toss a quick ball and see if we can't get lucky. So honestly, today has been amazing productive as it is. And I hope it continues to be even if we don't get you quite right away. Phantom Force. They vanished instantly. Oh yeah, that's right. So they're gone. I think this is an issue we've run into before. Oh wait, they're still here though. All right. Um, so let's switch Pokemon. I think that if we switch to Biggie, because yeah, we have some super effective moves with that. I mean, I don't know if I exactly want to use them. I'd like to rather just throw out Pokeballs, but we'll have to wait and see how this ends up working out. Phantom Force. So that hurts, but not too much. It's not very effective. We're buffeted by the Sandstorm, which is more of a concern to me at this point. Uh, so what is the weakest one we have? That's 70, 95, 70. Uh, we'll just try this and hope it's not a one-hit takedown. Luckily, there's other Go Lurks around, so if it does do a one-hit takedown, which it didn't, wow! Okay, good. Heavy Slam does not sound fun. And what do you know, it wasn't. 
So at this point, we just need to use a good Pokeball if we have a, uh, what is that, Premier Ball? Well, that's a somewhat rare one, but we're looking for Ultra Ball. That's what we're looking for. This should get him. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't. Well, let's see, am, am I gonna get surprised? Oh, I am, come on. Phantom Force again. So you're going to vanish. You know what, we're gonna take this opportunity to heal up Piggy because we need it. Oh boy, he's not doing so well. So, waiting your directions, bag. And we got Soda Pop, that's only 50 HP though. 60 HP, Hyper Potion, 120 is gonna be our best bet. That'll get him up to like 169. So, it's not all of his health, but it's most of it. Gets him back into the, the green. And then this will probably knock us back into the yellow. Not quite actually, wow. Okay, that'll do it, right? No, he's holding on tight. Come on now, Ultra Balls, throw this out there. Please work. Oh, we actually get a, a, um, a critical that time, a critical catch, which wasn't really necessary, but I'll take it. So that is another new Pokemon to add to our collection in today's episode. What have we caught in today, today's episode? Or at least how many things has our Pokedex gone up? Oh, we'll get to level up, that'll be an evolution. Nice, it has to be like at least 10, right? We've caught like five Pokemon, we've evolved like three or four. No, I think it's been like five. So yeah, I think we've got 10 new additions to the Pokedex already today, and we're not done. We still have more action. So there we go, Wooloo evolves into a Dubwool, which of course, that was what uh, Hop had. Okay, so its majestic horns are meant only to impress the opposite gender they never use in battle, or they never see use in battle. Wow, interesting. And we also got Golurk, uh, automation, or not automation, automaton Pokemon, a ground ghost, over nine feet tall. There's a theory that inside Golurk is a perpetual motion machine that produces limitless energy, but this belief hasn't been proven. Yeah, has anybody tried opening them up? Anyways, there's Golurk. Um, no, I do not want to swap them out. But we'll send you to a box. So there we go, very awesome. Okay, so let's see what else we can find. We've already gotten these things. Yeah, we definitely have. I think I got them a long time ago, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here you are, the Drillbur. Awesome, they're just sort of popping up for us now. You encountered a wild, no, not Drillbur, Excadrill. I think Drillbur evolves into you maybe? I don't know. Anyways, Excadrill, we don't have you. Let's go ahead and try to get an immediate quick ball throw. I am so happy that we're making our goals a reality right now. Come on, come on, quick ball, do your thing. Ah, oh, darn. Now this is where I gotta be a little bit careful. The Fisher um, didn't work. That's good because we're in a bit of a risk here. As you can see, not very effective and no effect are our two options for Jazzy. So we wanna switch to something. We have to switch to one of these two, you know? And that's where it can be a bit of an issue. But with, at least with Biggie, the good thing about Biggie is that for everything that Jazzy's weak to, I think Biggie is sort of neutral towards. I mean, Earthquake is always a painful move and now we're in trouble. Um, that was not good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a really bad time. I think we're just going to do a full re revive on Biggie, but that's where it's just, it's not fun to deal with Earthquake. It's never fun. Um, so let's go and try to find Max Revive. This is my only one at the moment. We'll have to go get more. Max Revive. Big you recover from fainting. They did Drill Run, that's gonna hurt. Ah, oh, not a one hit take to not. Very good. No, the Sandstorm! Ah, oh, ruined everything. And he's so close to level 80 as well, so that's a bummer. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. If we can catch this Excadrill, that'd be perfect, because then we can just go back to the, the, the Pokemon Center, heal up Biggie, or heal up Jazzy, and probably Biggie at this rate. Um, let's do maybe Foul Play. The user turns the target's power against it. The higher target's attack stat, the greater damage it deals. Let's try it. I don't think it'll do a full health bar worth of damage. No way, that was very close. So they're doing Sword Stance, which ups their stats. I don't mind, we'll be using an Ultra Ball now to take you out. But yeah, then we'll be able to exchange a bunch of Pokemon. Basically do the same thing again that we did earlier. So Ultra Balls. Thank you very much. So we will eventually have to find out where we can get more evolution stones, because we'll need a Thunderstone for like Pikachu and the Raichu. 
Only? Maybe that's something we can look into right now. Either way, extra drill was caught. And, oh, no level 80 for uh, Jazzy, that's a shame. But Tranquil gets a level up. You know what that means. That is going to be another evolution. Um, Vikavolt wants to learn to move Spark. You know what, let's forget a move, because Spark is decent. We'll just put that over Mudslap. I don't think we need that either. I mean, he's only level 23. But it is good to get it, because before I think he was just a bug type when he was just grubbin', but now he's a bug electric, which means another thing for viable jobs. Anyways, Tranquil is evolving into its third and final evolution here, and that is going to be, whoa, very pretty. I really like this Pokemon. This is an un, un pheasant. <laughs> cool. So, there we go. Three for 11, proud Pokemon, normal flying. This Pokemon is intelligent and intensely proud. People will sit up and take notice if you become a trainer of one. That's cool. I like it. So there's that, Excadrill's data will also be added to the Subterrene Pokemon, um, Ground Steel. Known as the Drill King, this Pokemon can tunnel through the terrain at speeds of over 90 miles per hour. And there's another one off the list for us. Um, no nickname, and gonna send you straight to a box, but fantastic progress so far. And like I said, we're still not done. There is still more to do, so we are going to, for right now, go to the town map and fly back to the Pokemon Center. So things are a tad bit complicated with this one. One thing I wanna see before we get started is what kind of stones we have. We have two shiny stones, very good, because there's actually two Pokemon I know of that we can use shiny stones on and immediately evolve them right now. On top of that, do we have a sunstone? We have fire stones and a sunstone. Perfect. Um, with those, we can make certain evolutions happen. So what I wanna get out right now, um, if we check our boxes, is we should have a Minchino around somewhere. Um, so we'll take a look for that. It's a pretty easy one to spot, I think, so hopefully we will find it. Minchino, where are you? Where are you at, Minchino? Uh, not in here, I don't think. Because we've ran into a couple of Minchinos. Oh, we do need Electrike. That's one that I want to just, yeah, that's, that's one I have on my list right now. So we'll go ahead and grab that while I see it. Um, on top of that, no, I must have passed it then. We have a lot of boxes. Uh, so it could be in one of these, actually. Um, hmm, yeah, I must have missed it. Whoops, <laughs> me, me saying how easy it is to potentially find and then I don't find it. Oh, I do need Growlithe though. Growlithe needs a Fire Stone. So that's good to have. And the Vulpix is another one that needs the Fire Stone. So at least we're finding other stuff in the meantime. Hmm, where could it have gone? I think, yeah, Oddish is the one that needed the Sunstone. So we'll leave that there for now. And also, Roselia was another one that needed a Shiny Stone. Because I think there's only four Pokemon that need a Shiny Stone. And I don't know if I have any of those up right now. I don't think so. Anyways, uh, this was one of them. So if we go to our bag, and we get the Shiny Stone right here, and we use that with Roselia, as you will see, it will evolve. And this will be a very fancy one. I like these a lot. What? Roselia is evolving. Wow. Very cool Pokemon. This is a Roserade. I like it. So let's see some information on the Pokedex there. Uh, bouquet Pokemon, Grass and Poison. Uh, the poison in its right hand is quick acting. The poison in its left hand is slow acting. Both are life threatening. Very beautiful opponent, but also very deadly. Um, on top of that, we can use our Firestone on both Growlithe and Vulpix to get them evolved. I didn't realize that Growlithe's evolution was only a stone. Like you couldn't do, uh, you couldn't do it by, by levels. I don't even think you needed to be leveled up at all. It could be level one, right? I don't know. Uh, congratulations, your Growlithe evolved into Arcanine. How cool is that? So now we have an Arcanine, um, which is a legendary Pokemon. If you're sure, wow. Uh, a Pokemon that has long been admired for its beauty. It runs agilely as if on wings. Very cool. Extreme speed, forget an old move then. Uh, for extreme speed, which is a normal type move. Uh, probably, you know, 80 damage. Let's put it over retaliate. Sure, why not? <laughs> I don't know if I plan on using Growlithe, but it's good to have the option, and it's good to be one step closer to a finished Pokedex. So, um, we are going to 
Then use our other Firestone on the Vulpix over this way. Oh, what Vulpix is evolving. See, it's really great that we're making this kind of progress. Wow, I forgot how long those tails were. Congratulations, your Vulpix evolved into nine tails. Beautiful, and we could also get another Vulpix and put an Ice Stone on it to get the Alolan nine tails. Maybe we'll do that at some point. But for right now, just every Pokedex entry is one I'm mostly focused on. The, the variations that don't actually add to the Pokedex, I'm not sweating as much. Maybe at some point, if you guys really wanna see that. So Fox Pokemon, fire type, very smart and very vengeful. Grabbing one of its many tails could result in a thousand year curse. Well, not doing that. I mean, I can say from experience, I don't like it when people grab my tail. It's not a very nice thing to do. So we'll definitely have to put those two away, or those three away, because we just don't need them anymore. We can just put them back in the boxes. Uh, so maybe at some point between episodes, I'll try to organize everything uh, a little bit more. Or at all, you know? <laughs> Things aren't very organized whatsoever right now. So where's that Mancino at? I, I must have passed it. Because I have one. I know I do. I wouldn't have just like gotten rid of it. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Mincino, level 42. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to get the rots there. We'll put nine tails away here and somewhere for the Arcanine. Sure, right here. I'll probably try to organize these by type or by name or something. Probably will be my best bet. So yeah, I need to find more Pokemon to add to our team now. So here we are again. What I need to do real fast is use the shiny stone, our last one too, on Minchino. This one will be really cool too. I'm excited for it. Because these are just like very awesome evolutions. All the stone based evolutions are really, really amazing. I know at some point we want to evolve Pikachu into Raichu. We haven't done that yet, but look at you. You look like you have like, uh, like a scarf. I love it. So now it's Ch Sinchino, Chinchino, something like that. Uh, and there we go. So this is a scarf Pokemon, normal type. A special oil that seeps through their fur helps them avoid attacks. The oil fetches a high price at market. So they're just very fancy all the time. So we can get them out of our uh, team and then we can get one more Pokemon in that we can evolve normally. So the one I wanted to do is Snorunt. So this is our team that we need to work on now. Um, especially with Oddish, we need to evolve him once and then with that, uh, we need to use the Sunstone because there's actually two things um, Gloom, the evolution of Oddish can evolve into. One of them we already have, but we don't have the other one that requires the Sunstone. So we're back out to the wild area. Hopefully we find the other two Pokemon we're looking for as well because if we take a look, they should both be in the area we already were in. Um, so the Quillfish is a little bit farther up and the Lantern is a little bit more to the left. I mean, I think that might be some like arbitrary placement that doesn't actually have to do with anything, but we'll find out together. So I know I said earlier in today's episode I would try to get to the desert area and maybe do some Gigantamax stuff, but I've been so carried away. I mean, for, for me, the most important thing is that we made progress. Oh, what is this gonna be? I always need to make sure I pick up more stuff because any one of these could be another stone, another shiny stone, because we will need more of those. So it's like nothing new too much is popping up here. But yeah, I just wanna keep looking around, make the most of everything. Because I never really looked in this corner too much. Oh, I just heard an interesting noise. Nothing really though. Oh, here we go. There's another item. Come on, I can pick it up. A pearl. Ooh, I could at least sell that, I think. Oh, can I go for you? <laughs> yeah, if we take out some enemies, that's fine because that'll give us experience, level up some more of these Pokemon. So let's try this again. Sandstorm is raging. Hit you with a spark. Should be a one-hit takedown. And this will be level 80 for Jazzy, which is our first Pokemon to reach level 80. Very, very exciting. Okay, level 80. And a level up for Boon Suite. That's good. Uh, so, Boon Suite to level 27. I think that's already gonna be their evolution. Now, the weird thing about Boon Suite's evolution, we'll get into it in a second. Let's see what they evolve into. Boon Suite's evolving. Ta-da! Very cute. Your Boon Suite evolved into a Steenie. So let's read about Steenie a little bit. Steenie's data. Uh, she is a fruit Pokemon, grass type. Any Corvusquire that pecks at this Pokemon will be greeted with a smack from its petal or sepals, following by following by followed by a sharp kick. Oh, she means business. So the thing is, is that she can evolve one more time, but only if the Pokemon itself knows the move stomp, which is a weirdly specific thing. 
I don't know if this one knows stop, so we're gonna find out really quickly. Um, Steenie's right here. Uh, check summary. Do you know stomp? You don't. I don't know how you can learn stomp. I don't know if that's a TM we maybe have. We should check real quick. Now's, now's a good time. Um, bag. Uh, so TMs. I don't see a move called stomp just yet. There's sand tomb, which for a second my brain thought said sand, sand stomp, but no. Snarl. It doesn't look like it. So hopefully at some point we can find the stomp move. That would be great. So for right now we're still looking for two more Pokemon that both should be found in the water. So we'll just keep looking for them and hopefully they pop up. We haven't made our way up here too much. Oh, here we go, here we go, another item. How did I not pick that up? Come on. There we go, big pearl. And up here there's not gonna be, whoa! Whoa, we wanna get you for sure. An Umbreon. Yes, this is one of the evolutions. I haven't actually gotten this one. The only one we've gotten is Vaporeon. So we still have a whole host of them to get. Uh, starting with this one, we gotta get the quick ball out here. Come on. Quick ball is right here, because I think this is a dark type. This is so exciting, I hope I can get you right away. Please, please, please. Yes! Okay, another Eevee evolution, this time Umbreon. So, very nice, a level up for Electric and for Steenie. And Steenie grew to level 28. Stomp! Yes! We're getting an old move! Learn stomp! Uh, let's just put it over Flail. I don't think Flail's gonna be a very useful move. Yes! Okay, this is turning out really well. Because now they just need to level up one more time, and they'll be able to evolve. And Electric should be evolving right now. There it is. So, what? Electric is evolving! Ooh, man, the progress made in today's episode. This looks really cool, too. Congratulations, your electric evolved into a manectric. Manectric. Weird one to pronounce. Very fancy, though. So it's a discharge Pokemon. Electric type, of course. It rarely appears before people. It is said to nest where lightning has fallen. Fancy. And, okay, so you're gonna evolve right now. As soon as you learn Stomp, you can do that. What? Steeny is evolving. Wow, much taller. <laughs> Looks like she's wearing fancy boots. Your Steeny evolved into a Sar Serena. Okay, weird one to pronounce. But as you can see, Serena's data will be added to the Pokedex. Fruit Pokemon grass type. A kick from the hardened tips of this Pokemon's legs leaves a wound in the opponent's body and soul that will never heal. Wow. Tr Trop kick. Uh, sure, that sounds like fun. Is that another normal type move? No, that's a grass type. Um, sure, should we put it over stomp now? <laughs> Probably. Will it unevolve? That would be bad. <laughs> I don't think so. One, two, and ta-da! We forgot stomp and learned Trop Kick. Very cool. I can't believe we found an Umbreon, though. That's crazy. Moonlight Pokemon Dark type. One or on the night of a full moon, or when it gets excited, the ring patterns on his body glow yellow. Very cool. Uh, we're gonna send you to a box. He's been sent to a box. Well, there's another one off the list. What have we got over this way? Oh, we got plenty more of those Excadrills. We really went through great lengths to get that when there were so many over here. Um, there's a bit of energy, 200 watts. Is that Excadrill still chasing me? They're not, okay, good. So I think we're about to finish up. Whoa, but we do we have you? I don't think we have you. Hatterene. We've gone against a Hatterene, but do we have one? Some rare Pokemon around here. We don't have a Hatterene, so we're going to try to have one now. It's just so much fun to run around and catch Pokemon in this game, though. I truly enjoy it. Hatterene's not gonna get caught so easily, though. Calm mind. Whoa. So their special attack rows and their special defense. So we just wanna lower your health as much as we can, starting probably with a nuzzle so that they're paralyzed. And then I wanna just to, you know get the watts out of that last den 
and probably be finished up with that for today's episode. It has been a long one, but a really fun one as well. So definitely been worth it. And our Pokedex went up so much and might just go up a little bit more right here. So Jazzy's waiting our directions. We're going to do a spark. Oh, that was close. Used Healing Wish, but it failed. So here's our chance. Let's make sure we actually, uh... oh no. Oh, oh, gotta be careful. Where is the Ultra Ball? Here it is, we have 24 of these, that's plenty. And the Oddish actually hasn't, oh, there we go. The Oddish hasn't evolved either. So like whenever that gets leveled up, it's just one thing after the other. Like, I don't know when to stop. <laughs> oh, whoa, two level ups for you. Oddish still hasn't seen level up. It's gonna be a little bit for them actually, because they're level 60. So maybe that's something we'll save until next episode. But for right now, Hatterene's data will be added to the Pokedex. It is a silent Pokemon, Psychic Fairy, almost seven feet tall. I gotta imagine that's including the hat. <laughs> If you're too loud around it, you risk being torn apart by the claws on its tentacle. This Pokemon is also known as the Forest Witch. Scary. Uh, well, hopefully it doesn't do that to us. So another one for our vast and growing collection. I don't know if we'll find anything else around here that we haven't seen before. Leave me alone. I already got one of you. Whoa, too fast, too fast. <laughs> uh, what is going on? Hop off the bike, go like that. Bit of energy, 200 watts. Okay, it has been a jam-packed episode. We just got a ball mushroom, but we're gonna be finishing it off with that. It had to be like, what? 20 Pokemon caught in today's episode. We're at 193 in total. Hopefully we can hit the big 200 next episode. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.